try to spend as little time here as possible. Uh, have we been to Thyron? You were on the moon before, but not yeah. on the planet. Actually, yeah, we were at the academy. The planet tried to buy a sword or something. We tried to buy a sword? I think you tried to buy a sword yes, I when did. you realized that the university wasn't a place where they sold weapons. Yes, I did. Should I buy a short sword? Yeah, and uh, didn't have it. Mm -hmm. That was the psychic right. university. We brought the cargo of the psychics, alien psychics. All right. So I think, yeah, you uh, get the coordinate, and then when once you land on the planet in the starport, yeah, they you send the number a message saying, hey, we're at uh, this docking bay. You can come pick up your stuff. And yeah, as um, you know, the customs officials walk on the ship or start knocking on it to uh, land. As they always do when you land on a place. Even though I never bothered to mention it. <laughs> Wonder why you mentioned it now. Who knows? Yeah, so uh, there is a couple of people in customs uh, uniforms knocking on the door. I'll go open the door. They uh, politely greet you and says uh, they have orders to inspect cargo and the ship for uh, contraband. What might be considered contraband here, sir? The usual. And uh, they also hand you a printout list of all the numbers of contrabands. I'd like to distract him by flirting with them. You can certainly try. I got this. Where's my? Yeah, so there's five people in total. The officer in charge and then the, the four henchmen afterwards. And the henchmen spread out in the cargo bay and start looking around while you're talking. Just flirt, flirt with all the men. All right. Well, you can certainly do that. And uh, yeah, the officer seems to be uh, receptive to it. So yeah, what uh, are you trying to to actually do anything, or just you know have a conversation? No, I'm just I'm having a conversation, trying to you know win him over to just liking me. In case yeah. we do have something that's considered contraband, maybe we can flirt our way yeah, out of this. The officer seems to be, like I said, very receptive to it. Great. I don't know what these guys are doing, but that's what I'm doing. Yeah, the, the other four are just digging through the crate, scanning it. You know, doing whatever customs officials are usually doing when mm -hmm. looking for things. So, Ben, Brody, what are you up to while Val is distracting so? Um, <clears throat> I, I, um, I know about the customs officers. I know that situation. You broke Sorry, up. What? Yeah, you broke up. Oh, uh, I'm, a, am I aware of the customs officers, uh, in Vell and how that situation is going right now? I would assume that there is some sort of camera monitoring situation going like security cameras in, in cargo bay as well as some of the other areas so if we were to look at the, the the camera feed you would see that there is some customers officials on board okay um and the situation we're in right now we still we still have all 15 tons of cargo on board yeah all right this and is 
this happened just as you landed. You cleared it as you were entering orbit. You called the the people after you get after you got uh, the instructions to land on, on this specific docking bay, and you said, you know, you can come pick up your cargo here. And they told you, yeah, we send a truck. All right, I'm going to. Um, uh, do we already know the crate? Uh, I remember we had like some crates set aside that he was going to pay us since he didn't have extra money. Do we know which crates those are? Yeah, you know which crates he brought on board. All right, uh, can I try and open one of those to see what's in it? The one that is given to us anyway? Well, the customs officials are there. Yeah, I'm basically, like if I open it up and I see like thermonuclear warheads, or if I open it up and I just see some really old pottery that might change the the plan here. Yeah, so I think if you put those crates in maybe in a hidden area, or in, you know maybe you stacked it in a way that it wouldn't be the the first thing that the customs officials went to when they started looking through the cargo. Do you have some time to sneak in in a hidden area to, you know, have a look at the, some of the crates to break open? Yeah, I'll go ahead and try that. A rather obfuscated area, rather. So if you just stack a lot of containers, you know, in a long row, for example, like the, the container, like in the far back, probably ain't going to be visible from the docking ramp, you know. We do also have a lot of mech parts and things that we're transporting, so those yeah, will yeah, hide. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Carter's, Carter's goods are, are the ones that are basically obfuscating the, mm -hmm. the, the 15 tons. Those are the main goods that we have. Okay, if, you, if you ever need me to teleport things around, I could do that just quickly. Up to a weight limit. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do everything in one teleport but i could probably teleport quickly just moving things around so they get distracted or maybe like i'll teleport some things forward or somewhere that they've already scanned you know things like that yeah you crack open one of the crates and we have brody telekinesis you can move things around to get them confused from what you can tell it seems to be some sort of machine parts All right. In the crate that you opened. Can I uh, take a, a picture of it with my compad, send it to Brody, and say, hey, do you know what this stuff is? Yeah, you can do that. Brody, you would need, if you look at a picture, you would need to roll a no plus intelligence figure out anything special. Can't you also try no with intelligence, Ben? Before you send it to him? I mean, if I can, I, I can roll it, but I don't know if I can. So, it might be difficult to know, because to you it looks like a bunch of mechanical components. If Brody tells you what it is, you can probably roll that to figure out how much you could sell it for if you wanted to. But you don't you wouldn't be able to figure out just by looking at these parts at the top of the crate what what it would be. Because you have no mechanical know how. and find a bloody skill list. I don't think there is that particular. So, Brody, you have a look uh, at the picture, and there is maybe a couple of things that stand out to you that would be uh, questionable, maybe, perhaps. Uh, there is one particular component like stuffed in the very corner that looks possibly like a um, some sort of detonator whether or not it's connected to something you don't know but that's the one thing that stands out to you more than anything else in the in this pile of metal scrap 
or some sort of mechanical trigger. Boy, we might be in a little bit of shit then. Yeah, I'll just let them know all the stuff I recognized. Yeah, so as soon as I hear there's a detonator involved, uh, I have a piece, a uh, small, like a piece of it in my hands that I'm sort of looking around and, and then I hear the word detonator and I just very slowly and carefully put it back into the padding the way I found it. And, uh, I'll swing it around. And then I'm going to uh, put the top back on, put it, um, you know, again, as in, place it back as inconspicuously as I possibly can, and then I will uh, um, proceed to act like I'm going about normal unloading operations to try and get past these custom officials. Yeah, and as you do that, like you see them, you know, walking from crate to crate with um, basically like um, some sort of scanning equipment as they scan each crate. And you know they have a have a a wand or some such hooked up to a, with a cable to the main part. So they have the wand in one hand as they're moving it back and forth on the crate, and then they have the little like computer or data slate that is connected to in the other hand as they're looking what they're finding. And yeah, as the as the minutes pass, they uh, make it closer and closer to the to the area where you have uh, parts from from the other crates. Uh, can I maybe like do the equivalent of um, like a blather or a fast talk, which may be just a talk roll in the system, to where I'm basically following around the custom officials and I'm just kind of talking at speed, trying to be basically pretending to be overly helpful, but basically distracting them so they can't do their job quite as effectively. Yeah, sure, that would be a talk and charisma. Yeah, so you managed to distract two of them. As they, uh, you know, maybe if it start beeping on as they scan one of the crates, you know, it start beeping a bit and you immediately start, you know, asking a million questions and you know, misdirecting and all that and they get a bit confused by it and keep scanning the other crates, you know, forgetting that uh, they had had a hard return on something. And yeah, as you as you're uh, misdirecting Two of the customs officials, you see the other two like moving on the other side of the crates towards it as well. And your compad starts ringing, Ben. All right. Brody. Yeah. Brody, what are you doing as this is going on? Are you still in the cockpit hanging out or are you here on the ship? Oh, I came back to the cargo hold. It's in my head if shit goes sideways. We either. Get it all confiscated and arrested. Or we can try and kill them, in which case I want to try and crush one with a Can we not kill customs officials? We already did enough trouble. Oh, so it's okay for you to pull a knife on people, but I can't crush them with the crate. The you can crush the people with a key. You can crush people as much as you want. Can we not do it to people that are just doing their jobs? You weren't saying that when you had a knife to someone's throat. Well, yeah, but I'm crazy. <laughs> That's no excuse. It's a very good excuse. It's a Brody. I think you show up around the time when, um, when one of them, one of the teams on the other side that Ben isn't distracting, the, his uh, fast talking nonsense. They get a hard return on one of the crates. And there is a loud beeping. Can I try and distract um, them? 
Try and drop one of the crates in front of them, like almost hitting them. Oh, maybe you can you can drop it on their head. Maybe kill them. Oh, but that that might cause problems. I mean, that's something you could do. But yeah, they won't what, know it's you. That's what happens when you walk in. You see this, and yeah, uh, when the the beeping starts, supervisor that val you were Val is floating with, he turns around and says, uh, "Excuse me for a moment," and he starts walking over to to on the other side of the crate. Can I try and distract him now? <laughs> so, how do you want to distract him? Brody just tackles him. <laughs> Can I start walking over there and trip air quotes into him? Drop it on their head. I mean, you could if that's what you wanted. So, if you if you want to do that, and I'm not saying you shouldn't, because it could be funny, I would like you to roll me a dexterity plus perform, please. And you need a seven or better for. That. Fuck. Well, uh, you still have telekinesis. That's yeah, so you. Oh, you get a plus one. It's your first roll, isn't it? It's my second. Damn. Yeah, so you stumble into one of them, and it's very obvious for anyone who sees this that you're do it, doing it on purpose rather than trip over your own shoelaces. And yeah, he. Um, Gets a bit rattled, obviously, like he flinches a bit as you're bumping into him, and he's like, Hey, watch it, damn it, I'm working here. And uh, yeah, he seems to be uh, annoyed more than anything that you know, someone just pushed him. Sorry, I'm a little tired from the flight. And maybe you should go sit down and let me do my job. And yeah, you see, uh, as you're standing there next to him, you see the the crate is just scanning, and it's one of the the crates that um, you brought from Ben's contact. And uh, yeah, there is also like the the screen, our screen on the data slate is like flashing a red. There is a red bar basically flashing on it, and it says. Um, and while you're at it, give me a cargo manifest. What is this stuff? And yeah, you see the the off customs officer walking towards you now, almost within talking distance. Yeah. So um, maybe this would be uh, administration role. I'm I'm not sure. I don't think we've ever rolled that, but. I'm going to uh, basically try to make the argument that these are personal effects or something like that, and there's not an official uh, manifest or shipping for it. Yeah, sorry, getting back to you, but I keep hopping around between the three of you. But yeah, you, as um, you see the customs of official sort of walking towards the, the hot return on the other side, and as you manage to distract the first team and the second one second team gets a return on it and the, their uh, their boss is starting to walk over there your compad starts ringing oh yeah okay so i'll, I'll answer that yeah and the uh, same same woman's voice that you talked talked with before and says um we're we're outside and can we start loading up and yeah you see Turn out and look out, uh, look down the ramp. You see there is a big tractor You're rolling towards you. All right, I'll um, I'll sort of um, 
Am I still right in front of the other two customs officials? They're standing with their backs towards you as they're scanning the crates. Yeah, I'll sort of step around a corner or something like that and then say, uh, yeah, we're going through customs. Um, they uh, look like they're interested in one of the crates, so I'm trying to handle it right now. Yeah, she uh, just says, I'll, I'll handle it, and then hang And yeah, with that, the, the truck does a three-point turn and started backing up into the cargo hold. And the, yeah, the, all of the customs officials look up from the, the crates, basically wondering what the hell's going on. And yeah, from, from the truck itself, it's like, I never figure out the name of it, but it's basically like the same kind of truck that you drove the, the cargo like the, the anime truck basically. yeah yeah so that drives up so the the trailer is with the back up in the cargo hold and then the ramp lowers and then there yeah there's three people from from the trailer that jumps down onto the floor of the ship and they uh yeah, one of them says to the customs officer, George, says, um, nice to see you again, Rick. Wondering when you were working. Yeah, customs official uh, just smiles and walks over, shake hands, for a short conversation. And uh, yeah, the the woman you spoke to, three, three men, one woman, and when she talks, she has the same voice that you heard on the phone. She says um, to, to all of you, really, just load it up on the truck and let's get out of here. And yeah, she keeps walking over while the rest of you, or while the rest of the, the crew plus the customs officials start loading in the crates in the back of the truck. And uh, whoever, who of you would be closest to, um, to the cargo ramp? I would, because I was there when I opened the door. I opened the cargo ramp for the right. officials to come in. Yeah, so she says, thanks for bringing the cargo. Here is uh, the agreed upon item. Oh. It gives you a, a small black box. All right. Before uh, turning around and gets back into the truck again. Hey, can I open the black box as soon as I get it? But I'm ready to sure. teleport in case it blows up, because we're hearing about detonators. I mean, you could certainly do that if you wish. Yes. So I would like to open the black box like, when she gives it to me. So uh, while you're standing there opening the black box, Dan Brody has the customs official and the the crew from the truck starts loading up the, the cargo. One second. I'm going to be doing my, uh, uh, my best to go about the normal unloading procedure, maybe helping them load stuff up. Sorry about that. Someone was knocking the door. No worries. Yeah, you open it up and inside the, the little black box there is a mechanical part. Okay. What? I don't know what it is, right? I can't understand it. There's, There's no detonator. A, the mechanical part, it looks to be maybe like the, the length of your forearm. About, about large enough as a loaf of bread. Alright, I'll teleport to I'll just walk to Brody and ask him, do you know what this is? Would I know what this is or no? You wouldn't. You you would have okay. no idea what it is. And then yeah, I'll go to Brody because he's our uh, check bullshit thing. Uh, tech guy, sorry. Same thing. Uh, you're, you're not sure. 
Brody, you you haven't really seen this piece before, and from the on the top and the bottom where you would attach it to something, it it doesn't really give you a good indication of what it is. But you know, it has it attaches to a solid point in the middle, in the center of it, on the left side, and then there is a center connection plus three smaller one clustered underneath it. I yell triage. over to Ben. Like Ben, can you call this lady and ask her where this is? We just got some junk here. Hopefully, valuable junk. Yeah, I'll give her a um, a call and maybe the uh, screenshot if Vel sends me one, and uh, yeah. I'll ask her, "Hey, can you um, do you happen to know what this thing is, or um, uh, who is might be interested in it?" As I close the black box, my dragon jumps on top of it and just looks around like, mine now, bitch. Yeah, so as the, I think as the truck rolls away after you load up all the cargo, he um, basically tells you, I have no idea. I was told to give it to you as a thanks for delivering the cargo. All right. All right. So, um, Interesting. We have a mysterious mechanism here. I do love some mystery. Um, yeah, and as the truck drives away, the, the, the customs official tips their hat at all of you and leaves the ship as well. Have a good night, Rick. Or a good day, Rick. We'll shoot, see you shoot, again soon. Shoot you the finger guns and. and... <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> the finger guns, thank you. Thank you for the finger guns, god damn you. Alright, uh... I guess I go talk to Brody and Ben and be like, um... So we have, uh, some empty cargo space. Yep, he doesn't hit you. Oh good, I'm glad. I'm glad he doesn't <laughs> hit me. <laughs> he shoots if that you. Rolled, if that rolled to hit me... Like, how much damage would that do? A million? Literally oh. zero. It would have been funny if it was like 20. Just, just for the fucking hell of it. The most powerful weapon. Finger guns. Oh, uh, sorry. Just, just out of curiosity, uh, how long till I can roll though again to try and figure out what it is again? Or can I not? 